hello friends and my dear students so myself ravi kumar math faculty today i am going to start iit foundation course for class 6 iit foundation course for class 6 so now we will discuss syllabus of 6th standard okay so the chapter one is squares and cubes then second chapter is triangles third chapter is fractions and decimals and fourth chapter is rational numbers then fifth chapter is statistics then sixth chapter is algebraic expressions then seventh chapter is exponents then finally eighth chapter is set theory so this is the basic foundation course of sixth standard syllabus so first i'll start with squares and cubes so before that i am going to explain the exam pattern of iit foundation course of class 6th standard so which we are going to have four sections that is first one single correct answer type then second one multi correct answer type then third one comprehensive type and fourth one matrix match type so further i will explain in detail so each model single correct multi correct comprehensive type and matrix match type questions so followed by the syllabus so after that we are going to start chapter 1 squares and cubes now we will discuss single correct answer type questions right so how we have to solve this particular question means first we should find the lcm of 1800 so at ones place we have 2 then we can divide with 2 Two nines are eighteen and zero and zero. So again, so you can divide with two. Again, two in units place zero we have na. So two, then two four are five are and zero. Then again we can divide with two. So here units place zero we can divide with two. Two two are two two are and two five are. here finally units place is 5 so you can't divide with 2 so further you can go with 3 or 5 so 2 plus 2 4 plus 5 9 you can divide with 3 3 7 are 21 1 plus 5 15 3 5 15 15 okay then further you can divide with again 7 plus 5 12 you can divide with 3 so Three two zero six one five three five zero so twenty five. So finally, you can divide with five five zero. So here the LCM what you got? So here two power three times repeat na two power three into then three two times repeated so three power two into then five two times repeated. So five power two. So what we got here, the factors you should compare with the given thing. So two power in instead of a you are going to have three. So instead of b you are going to have two. Instead of c you are going to have again two. Okay. So what we have to find. So then. What is the value of a plus b plus c? What is the value of a plus b plus c? So then you can find a plus b plus c. A means three, then b means 
2 and again b and this is c value. So, c means again 2. So, finally, you are going to have 7. So, you are going to get 7. So, what are the options given here? So, option A 6, option B 7, option C 9 and option D 8. So, you got 7. So, here only single answer you are going to have. So, that is a single correct answer type. Now, we will discuss multi correct answer type model. So, for example, sum of first 7, first 5 odd numbers. So, first we should write what are the first 5 odd numbers. So, what is the first number 1, then 3, then 5, then 7, then 9. So, this is the sum of first 5 odd numbers. So, now you can calculate 1 plus 3, 4 plus 5, 9 plus 7, 16 plus 9, 25. So, what you got as the answer 25. So, here you should get at least two answers in the given options. You should get at least two, two answers. Here you got 25. So, here option A is the correct. Then what about 64, 81 and so D, option D, 5 square. Here 5 square means so that is also 25. So, you can write uh, 4 option D also as a option. So, that means uh, here, so if they given, so bubblings like this, multi correct answer type, how you have to do particular answer means so you should fill first option as well as you should fill second option also. So, this is a multi correct answer type. So, next we will discuss about comprehensive type. Now, we will discuss about third type. So, that is a comprehensive model. So, in this model, so they will give some information. So, based on this information, so we should find the solutions of the given questions. So, here what they have given? So, one triangle given triangle ABC. So, ABC is a triangle. Okay, now. So, what is the ratio of ang angles? Angle A is 2, angle B is 2, angle C is equal to 2 is 2, 3 is 2, 5. So, we know that sum of three angles, that means angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. So, here let the angles be, so 1 is 2x, then B is 3x, then this is 5x. Okay, so 2x plus 3x plus 5x is equal to 180 degrees. So, this is 10x that is 180 degrees. So, x is equal to 180 by 10. So, 18 degrees. So, 18 degrees. So, what is the angle 2x? This is 2 times of x means 36 degrees. So, 3 times of x means 54 degrees, B is 54 degrees and remaining this is 90 degrees, 90 degrees. So, this is nothing but a right angle. Okay. So, here see, we know the properties of triangles, the angle greater than, so which is the angle greatest, the opposite side is the greater side. Okay, now, AB is the 
greater side. So then the angle opposite to the second greatest, this is the, so AC is the first greatest side, second greatest side and this is the third greatest side. So what they are asking, so what is the greatest side? So here greatest side is AB. Why? Because so opposite angle is greatest angle. So this is AB. So descending order of the lengths, descending order of the lengths means highest to lowest. So that is AB is greater than AC is greater than BC. So this is the descending order. So then angle B, what is the measure of angle B? Here angle B measure is 54 degrees. So this is a comprehensive type. So they will give some information. So based on this information, so we should answer for the given problems. Okay now, then next we are going to have fourth type that is a multi-correct answer type. That means matrix. We are going to discuss type 4 question category. So that is a matrix match type. So in this matrix match type, so we are going to have the information in column 1 and again we are going to have the information in column 2. So by observing the information in column 1, so we should match the suitable option and we should write in the bracket. Okay now, right. So here AB is 6, BC is 7, AC is 6.5. So these are three different lengths. So three different lengths means, so that is scale and triangle. So that means you should write R. Okay, then AC is 13, BC is 12 and AB is 5 centimeter. So this is also three different types. Three different types. Okay, now. So here, so you can write R. Okay, now. So but by using the Pythagoras theorem here, a c square, a c square is equal to a b square plus b c square. So, this means this is a right angle triangle. So, you can write here the option s also. Okay, now here if you observe a b is 10 centimeter, a c is also 10 centimeters. Here two sides are equal. So third one is different. So this is called isoscalus, isoscalus triangle. Then, so next fourth one, all the three sides are 2.5, 2.5, 2.5. So this is, you can write it as equilateral, equilateral triangle. Okay now, so here what are the options we used R, RS, Q and P. Here what is the T? Isoscalus right angle triangle. So where isoscalus right angle triangle means two sides should be equal and two angles should be equal. Then so we can write isoscalus right angle triangle and one must be right angle. So this is the fourth type of question category. Okay now. So in IIT foundation course class 6, I discussed till now about syllabus of 6th standard and question pattern type. There are four models. One is a single correct answer type. Then second one is multi correct answer type. And third one is comprehensive type. And fourth one is matrix match type. Okay now. So in the next class, so we'll start uh, any particular chapter and uh, so we'll discuss all the synopsis 
and all the exercise problems okay na so see you all the my dear friends and students